Hello guys, Keeper on TV here, back for yet another match preview. Before we get into this match preview, let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this video. 50 likes, let's see if we can hit it guys. Anyway, getting on to the game this Saturday, Blues versus Stoke. I was going to be going to this game and doing a, a match day vlog, but unfortunately due to the current you know circumstances, the stadium being repaired and that I can't go. Which is a real shame. I don't know if the games yet. I don't know yet again. Are they going to be showing games on Blues TV this season? But yeah, Blues Stoke, first home game of the season. Let's start off with the opposition in Stoke City. Stoke City, of course, um, finished fourteenth last season. There was hovering around the playoffs um, for the majority of the season. Uh, they've got some good players. Stephen Fletcher. Um, he's done well in the Premier League. He's done well at Sheffield Wednesday, I believe, as well. They've got him up front. Of course, they've got Nick Powell, the former Manchester United player. Um, he was had to, he was their top goal scorer last season with twelve goals, and um, they like Blues. They've won their opening two games. They beat um, Fleetwood in the cup, and their first game of the season they beat Reading three two, and they had three they had eighteen shots sorry in that match. So, and also in that game they played a back five. So are they gonna play a back five when they come to St Andrews? And are we gonna match their back five? Because of course we played a back five against uh, Sheffield United. So getting on to Blues um, injury news. Chong uh, Lee Bo did his press conference and um, talking about Chong. Of course Chong come off against Sheffield United with a knock. Um, he hasn't even trained yet. He hasn't trained with the squad yet. So they're gonna be seeing. How he does tomorrow in training. So hopefully Chong starts this game. But I would I would probably start 4 4 2, you know, because I don't I, I can't see Lee Bowyer playing about I don't know, I might be wrong. But yeah, um Neil Leverage, I don't know what the situation is with Neil Leverage. Lee Bowyer didn't mention him in his press conference, so I don't know, Sark Sarkic will probably start unfortunately. Even though he kept a clean sheet against Sheffield United. Um he didn't really have much to do though, to be honest. Dean Robert to the back. Pedersen, Colin, left and right backs. The two in the middle, Gary Garner and Ryan Woods. And then Bella, Ivan Sanchez. No, well, Ivan Sanchez will probably start if Chong is not available for this game. So Bella, Chong and then Jukovic and Hogan. Of course, Jukovic and Hogan got rested in midweek for the game against Colchester. So yeah. Who knows? Who knows what Lee Bowie is going to be doing? Um, maybe he's, maybe he will play Colin and Bella as wing backs like he did against Sheffield United, but that wasn't a way. I can't see him doing it um, for this game against Stoke. So Stoke City, we always seem to beat them at St Andrews. The last last three times we played them at St Andrews, we beat them since they've been since they've been relegated to the Championship. We beat them two nil, two one, and two nil. So I'm predicting. A 1-0 Blues win. I think that if we can win our first... But I saw as well, I heard in the press conference, sorry. Um, we haven't won our first three opening games in 13 years. And we all know what happened that season. We got promoted to the Premier League. And also, we beat Sheffield United on the first game of the season. The season we got promoted. 1-0 as well. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully Chong is available for this game. Stoke City at home. Let me know your predictions down below. And as I said, let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this video. It's been keeping it on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. I can't really be doing a watch long for the game because, you know, it's not on TV. I will be doing a match review, but it's not on Blues TV, is it? So I can't really do. I can't really do a watch long. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep watching.